Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Deanna Saucet in the KRQE News 13 News Center. We do have some breaking news for you. Of the La Conchas fire, right now, there is a mandatory evacuation in Los Alamos. But listen to this. There are many different phases to this. I'm going to give you a lot of information. This will be proceeding in different phases. There will be instructed to leave in different groups, and this is how it will work. Group 1, Western Quemazon, Ponderosa, Group 2, North Community, Barranca, Mesa, North Mesa, and then Group 3 will be east of Diamond and the remainder of the town site. Now, White Rock is not being evacuated at this time, and if you are asked to leave Los Alamos, do not go to White Rock at this time. You are being urged to leave the area get with family and friends and work that out and of course we will have more information. Now how this is going to work, there will be a reverse 911 call that will be placed to your home at the time you're being ordered to evacuate. You are being asked to evacuate in an orderly fashion. I'm going to give you some routes in just a moment, but first off, do not take those large SUVs, the large RVs, because the roads have just been graded, and as a result, the roads really can't handle them. Take one of your more essential cars, take what you need, and those are essentials like medications and your pets and important documents. And here's how it's going to work. Now, you're going to be asked again by that 911 reverse call. Residents in Los Alamos in the downtown, north community, Kema Zone, eastern and western areas, you are going to use the truck route, East Hamas Road, or Trinity Drive, New Mexico 502. Now, Royal Crest residents, you would use the truck route to SR4 to New Mexico 502, and we'll be posting all of this on our website as well. Residents on the mesas, and that includes you folks up on North Mesa and Barranca Mesa, you will be using the graded road at the bottom of Reldija Canyon. Now, you might remember this is the same emergency route that was used during the Cerro Grande fire back in May of 2000. The road has been graded today, and the gate through San Ildefonso property on New Mexico 502 is open. Again, take only your most essential belongings, including medication and pets. Large vehicles such as RVs should not attempt to use these roads, especially through Rendija Canyon, and that's because of dew of water that is actually crossing the roads in low areas. It's been, a, it's been graded only to accommodate passenger cars, trucks, or SUVs, not oversized vehicles. Residents in White Rock, you are not being mandatorily evacuated right now. If you want to voluntarily evacuate, you are being asked to use SR4 to New Mexico 502 to evacuate if that becomes necessary. Now, if you are going to be voluntarily evacuating, say from White Rock or some of the other areas, the Big Rock Santa Clara Event Center is open as a shelter, but they will not have accommodations there. Right now, the whole shelter process is being set up, and we'll keep you informed. What I want to do now is go ahead and go through the different groups again. You will get a 911 reverse call. Group 1, Western, Kema Zone, and Ponderosa. Then Group 2, North Community, Barranca Mesa, North Mesa. Group 3, this will be East of Diamond and the remainder of the town site. White Rock folks, you are not being mandatorily evacuated right now. We're going to go ahead and show you some video of what's going on now. I also want to give you a website. You are asked not to call the county again. Earlier today, we said call 311. Right now, this is the website. LosAlamosNM.us, and that's all one word, LosAlamosNM.us. What we're showing you now is actually some ash that is falling in Santa Fe and the surrounding areas. This ash could become an issue. If you're having health problems, you should be very careful and not go outside unless you absolutely have to. Really be very careful. If you know neighbors who have health issues or respiratory problems, you should definitely check in on them. We're probably going to be seeing this ash for some time. Now, this fire has exploded. It started yesterday around 1.30 in Los Panchos. This is private property and really no cause at this point but it has grown at a massive rate. In just a few hours since it started yesterday, more than 47,000 acres. This is a huge and dangerous fire. We're hoping we get some relief from the winds. Want to remind you of all the details we're talking about. There's a lot of information. You can go to krqe.com. We're going to be updating as much as possible. 
Los Alamos County officials reporting the fire is now threatening Los Alamos, so they are ordering this mandatory evacuation. It's going to begin and proceed in, in kind of a blocking of the town. The folks over in western Camazon and Ponderosa, you'll be in group one. And then in group two, it'll be North Community, Barranca Mesa, and North Mesa. And then group three, of course, east of Diamond and the remainder of the town. White Rock not being evacuated. Don't go to White Rock if you are leaving Los Alamos because they may be evacuated at a later time. Residents are urged to prepare now to be ready to go when their group is being called. You will get a 911 reverse call. Folks, once again, check out carequi.com. We'll keep you updated throughout the afternoon.